right. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is News Center. Our continuing coverage of uh, the State of the Nation address continues right here. And like I mentioned before the break, uh, we now want to uh, link up with uh, op Uganda's opposition leader, Kiza Besiji, joining us live from his home in uh, Kampala, Uganda. Of course, uh, one of the issues that we're expecting President Uhuru Kenyatta to speak about is uh, relations with uh, different countries and especially those in the East African region. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us on News Center. So first things first, I'm sure you have been following regional politics, uh, you know, being a political uh, front runner here in this region. How can you assess uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta's uh, administration, even as we await for his State of the Nation address this afternoon? Well, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. And uh, I'd like to pass my greetings to all Kenyans out there and uh, to thank you for the support that I, from time to time, receive when, when we are having difficulties here in Uganda. Uh, and, um, you know, I think uh, regional cooperation is one of the important things that is going to help us in harmonizing how all of us in the region uh, relate to our governors. Um, because at the end of the day, the struggle we have is a common struggle to improve our lot, to make sure that um, we can all have decent jobs, we can have decent incomes, we can have good services, uh, and, and have infrastructure that serves all of us uh, to, 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 to our benefit. And, um, and, and I think that there has been... Uh, a, a bit of uh, a, 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 a gap between what our leaders do, what the governments do, and what the people down there are, are, are involved in. This has always been a challenge in terms of the effort at regional integration. There is more of a sense of integrating the governments, integrating the, the people at the top without the integration of the people themselves. Um, sorry, uh, I, I think I have um, my earphones out, so you may not hear, I may not hear you uh, soon, but uh, l let me say this, that... Uh, the effort of integration must continue, and we must emphasize how to increase the input of ordinary people so that um, the, the integration uh, uh, takes up the aspirations of the people and not just the interests of the, of the governments or the leaders. All right. Uh, all right. Uh think now you can hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you. Again. Okay, okay, great. So you've spoken about uh, regional cooperation. How well do you think uh, regional leaders have played that part of bringing, you know, the, the countries together for that regional cooperation that you're talking about? But I think there has been um, a significant progress in trying to uh, create the institutions that can bring our people to interact more easily, but a lot more could have been done. And, uh, and the, the barriers are still there. There are still a lot of barriers uh, that need to be, I think, put down. The free movement of people is, is, still, is still in words. And, and, and the free movement of goods, and the, it's it's that interaction, and the, and, the, and and and, and um, uh, we 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 need to move closer to to integrating the economies so that even the currencies can relate to each other more easily, and so on and so forth. And so, so there is a lot right. of work to be done. 
And so how do we do exactly what you're saying, uh, you know, to bring these uh, countries together, to bring the people together, uh, you know, so that we could have a united uh, East African uh, region, and especially considering that, you know, political systems uh, are very different. The way we do things here in Kenya and Uganda, Tanzania, you know, there are things that are really not similar. But so how do we then uh, achieve that uh, uh, integration, like you mentioned? Absolutely. It starts at the bottom. It cannot start at the top. We, 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 you, cannot integrate, you cannot mix, uh, you know, acid with, uh, with milk. You, you must first have similar entities or reasonably similar entities that then you interact. So uh, we have a situation, for example, where here in Uganda... I mean, whatever you call it, it's a dictator. It's an outright dictatorship that has lasted more than 30 years, that acts with impunity, that, um, uh, you know, the, the ordinary people are completely uh, on the margins. It's, it's not a situation that you will, you will, you will easily uh, integrate with the others. Uh, so we need to start at the bottom and develop... So we agree on the institutions that we build in, within these countries and the systems that help to build them. And, and then we build up and integrate. We, we, sh we, can, we, cannot, we cannot integrate by simple and administrative fiat, by ordering integration and it happens. It doesn't happen that way. All right. Uh, Kenya is, uh, of course, uh, deemed to be the big brother in the East African region, what uh, role do you think uh, Kenya has played in uh, bringing that East African cooperation? Well, I think it is. Uh, uh, it cannot play a role outside uh, what the others are able to do. Uh, I think the best thing that uh, can be done is indeed to encourage the good practices that may be there in Kenya that have made its economy maybe grow, um, uh, encourage all the others to, 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 to adopt those good practices. On the other hand, quite obviously, Kenya still has great challenges. Um, there is uh, clearly uh, a, a lot, a lot, a big gap between those who have and those who don't have. Uh, you still have the same challenges as in the rest of the region regarding unemployment and so on and so forth. So, yes, Kenya may be a big brother, but there is a huge uh, effort that is still needed uh, within Kenya. What needs to be done is simply to share what has worked well for Kenya to those other areas where uh, they are still struggling. And vice versa, also Kenya to take up some of the areas that uh, other area other countries have uh, uh, have, have have excelled, uh, but all, 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 overall uh, the East African region still has a lot of challenges, right? And um, really, we need to work very hard. All right, you've mentioned that you know there are other countries that are struggling, and uh, you really in your own country you are in constant battles uh, with the presidency. I mean, looking at Kenya and our open political uh, sphere, do you think that uh, Kenya has played the right role in uh, really uh, supporting countries like uh, other countries, really, that uh, you know, are struggling, like you mentioned, politically? Well, it's not easy for Kenya to, I think, uh, influence what goes on within the the other countries, and especially a, a country like Uganda. Because don't forget, as I have said, Mr. Museveni has been here for more than 30 years. He was here when Moi was president, when Kibaki was president, and now when um, Uhuru is a president. So he also... Uh, uh, dominates them in, in, in a sense and indeed has been interfering with uh, what goes on in the politics of the of the other countries uh, so yes I think Kenya will do well to 
take a principled stand uh, in as far as relating to the political situations of our countries are concerned uh, and recognize that as long as we have uh, undemocratic governance in Uganda, we shall have instability in Uganda, and this will endanger Kenya's progress. So it's, it's in, really not just for um, President Uhuru, it is for the people of Kenya as a whole to work and support democratization in the whole region. Um, and in that regard, of course, uh, uh, Kenya too uh, has had its share of problems and it's, emerged, it's trying to emerge out of them. We too need to support Kenya uh, to, 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 to steady itself along the path of uh, transformation. Right. Uh, finally, sir, let's talk about the roadmap that uh, you foresee for East African politics. You know, there are conversations to do with a political federation, merging all these uh, systems into one that could work positively for the East African region. Uh, what kind of uh, future are you seeing in regards to this politically for the East African region? First of all, I, mu I must say that uh, the need to integrate our economies, to integrate our region to function as a strong big unit is a strategic need that we cannot uh, make a mistake on not supporting as strongly as we can. I think it's every person who is uh, keen on the transformation of Africa, on the transformation of our region must support as vigorously as possible the integration of our region. However, it, we must recognize that uh, it won't happen by simply ordering it. We must take the painful steps of building the systems of integration from the bottom, as I have said, so that we have similar dynamics within the region, within the countries that are trying to integrate. Part of the problem we have with the African Union is that it's a union of countries that are problematic. So you cannot have a strong African Union when the component parts are, are, are problematic. So we cannot focus on building institutions of the region without looking at the institutions of the component countries that form that region. So we need to build pain, painfully from the bottom and uh, integrate our people. But we can do so with uh, as much haste as we can, but not, not thinking that we will achieve what uh, we need without right. doing what must be done first. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.